Hey, what's up guys? Jay here. Welcome back to another workout. Today I have a beastly 12 minute functional pump kettlebell leg workout that's gonna target the quads, glutes, and the hamstrings. We have 12 different exercises. You're gonna perform each exercise for 40 seconds, followed by a 20 second rest in between exercises. We're doing one total set. If you need to make this workout easier, use lighter weight and or shorten the range of motion on some of these exercises. And if you need to make it more challenging, increase that weight. Lift as heavy as you possibly can while maintaining excellent technique. Now, by the end of this workout, if you feel like you wanna put some more work in, you can take a one to two minute rest once we finish all 12 exercises, and you can repeat it for one more set, but you're not gonna need it. So without further ado, let's get ready to put in some work. Let's get ready to crush those legs. Let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna start about 30 seconds. Exercise number one is gonna be the kettlebell hike to swing. So we're gonna start just about a squat stance, feet a little more than shoulder width. We're gonna pull those lats down and back, hike the belly through the legs, power up with the glutes, return to the starting position, and then repeat. So let's get ready to hike to swing to start. Make sure you keep your back nice and straight. Again, pull those lats down and back, really power up, bring the hips to neutral, really squeeze the glutes at the top. All right, so we're gonna start in five seconds. Let's get ready here. Three, two, one, let's go. Power up. So the arms are just a guide when we swing the bell up. We don't wanna pull up with our arms. All right, use that lower body to power that bell up. So we're gonna bring that bell right about shoulder to eye level. Again, back nice and straight. Ten seconds. Good. All right, twenty seconds rest. So now we're getting to the regular kettlebell swings. So now we're prepped and primed with that hike to swings. So and now continuous kettlebell swings. Remember, power up with the glutes and hamstrings. Just bring those hips to neutral. Do not overarch at the top. Let's get it. Here we go. So breathe in when the bell goes through the legs. Exhale at the top. Notice slight bend of the knees. And also I'm hiking the bell high in the crotch. We don't want the bell coming down here and pulling us out of alignment. Keep that bell high in the crotch. Spine nice and neutral. Back nice and straight. Remember, predominantly a lower body exercise. The arms are just guiding that bell to shoulder or eye level. Good, all right. Next up, the single arm front squat. So single arm, tight to the body, squatting down, driving those knees out, keeping the core braced. So we'll go 20 seconds one side, quick switch, 20 seconds other side. Here we go. Lower down with control, driving those knees out, keeping those heels down. Remember, if you need to modify, shorten up that range of motion. So still try and use the same weight. Let's switch sides, sorry. Still try and use the same weight, but just shorten up that range of motion. Core breaks. Remember, keep that core turned on. Keep this elbow nice and tight to the body. Good. Next up is the goblet squat. So now we're gonna hold the kettlebell by the horns, or you can hold it by the base, and then we hit our squats here. Let's get ready. Let's go. Just getting started. Here we go. Nice control on the way down. Keep those heels down. Flex the quads at the top. Twenty seconds. Come on. Ten seconds left. Let's go. 
Keep it moving, drive those knees out, core braced. Let's finish strong here. Good. Next up, single leg RDLs. So we're gonna go two kettlebells. So single leg, balancing, slight bend of the knee. We're gonna stay on one side for 20 seconds, and then we'll go other side. Here we go. So nice and controlled. Take your time, this takes a lot of balance. Power up with the hamstring and glute. So lower down, keeping the back straight. Power up with that hamstring. Now, if you need to modify, we're gonna do a kickstand. So have the other leg on the ground with the heel up. So we're still utilizing some balance. Let's switch sides. Still utilizing some balance, but we're making it a little bit easier. So do the kickstand if you need to modify. So lower till you get a good stretch in the hamstring and then power up. All right, next up is gonna be an RDL. So two legs, slight bend of the knee, lats pulled down and back. So we're lowering until we get a good stretch in the hamstrings. Power up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. So nice control, good stretch. Power up with the hamstrings and glutes. You need to modify. As always, shorten up that range of motion as needed. So really feel the hamstring stretching and then pull that body back up with the hamstrings. We don't wanna use the back. So minimize using that back as much as you can. Pull up with the hamstrings. Almost there, come on. Three seconds. One more. Nice. All right, next up, front rack back lunges. So we're holding the kettlebell in the front rack, and we're just gonna step back, alternating legs, keeping that core braced, keeping that chest up the entire time. Let's go. Let's get ready. Here we go. Big step back, lower down with control. So ideally we lower till our knee lightly touches the floor to ensure for full range of motion. But again, like all of our exercises, if you need to modify, just shorten up that range of motion as needed. Make sure you're moving with control. Don't just slam down in that back lunge. Let's go, keep it moving. Here we go, come on. We got five seconds. And time, nice. All right, next up, lateral lunges. So a kettlebell in each hand, big step out to the side, come back to neutral or come back to center, step out on the other side. So we're gonna alternate sides. Make sure you keep that chest up the entire time. Here we go. So chest up, lower down. Keep that heel down. You're breathing. Nice control on every rep. So the other leg is not lunging. We're gonna keep that leg straight to put as much emphasis on the bent leg as we can to build as much muscle as possible. 10 seconds, come on. Let's go, keep it going. Let's get one more. Nice. All right, next up, kettlebell good morning. So we're targeting the hamstrings and glutes, a little bit of low back. We're gonna pin the kettlebell to the sternum. Nice squat stance. We're just hinging at the waist and then squeezing the glutes at the top. Here we go, press that bell into the sternum. Hinge, squeeze at the top. Remember, we don't wanna over arch the top. Just bring those hips to neutral. So feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. Power up with the hamstrings and glutes. We need to modify, as always, shorten up that range of motion as needed.
10 seconds, come on. Nice form here, come on. Three, two, one, good. Next up, we have the suitcase deadlift. So single arm, so remember this is a hip hinge. Standing like so. So we'll go 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds other side. Back nice and straight, use those hamstrings and glutes. Let's go. So pull those lats down and back. Keep the spine neutral so we don't wanna look up like this. Spine neutral, chest and hips will rise at the same exact time. Keep the core brace as well. You're gonna feel that bell wanna pull you off to the side. Switch sides. That's why it's such a great unilateral strength builder for not only the hamstrings and glutes, but for the core as well. Remember, if you need to modify, shorten up that range of motion by not going all the way down to the ground. Three, two, and one time, good. All right, goblet squat get-ups. So if you need something padded for this exercise, feel free to grab your mat. We're gonna hold this goblet position. We're gonna squat down to the knees and then come back up and stand tall. Let's go. <laughs> Saving the best for last, almost there, come on. Squat down to the knees, come back up on that same side you went down on, stand tall, then you're gonna switch sides that you go down on. So nice steady pace. Keep that core braced. Good form throughout. Let's go, keep it moving. Come on. 10 seconds, let's go, let's work. Five seconds, let's get one more, come on. Nice. One exercise left, we have kettlebell jump squats. So we're holding a bell in each hand and we're jumping, driving those knees out, finishing off those legs nicely with the jump squat. Let's get ready. Come on, three, two, one, let's go. So big jump, lower down with control. Drive those knees out, keep that chest up. Come on, let's go. Come on. We're halfway there. If you need to shake it out, shake it out quick and get back to work. Last exercise, come on. Ah, 10 seconds. Come on, we're right there. We're right there. Come on. Ah. And done. Woo! So there you guys have it. A nice 12 minute little burner. We put a lot of work in in 12 minutes. Now for reference, I was using a 35 pound kettlebell for the swing exercises and a pair of 27 pound kettlebells for the rest of the exercises. So for me, I went very light because I obviously need to be able to talk you guys through this entire workout. So if I were doing this workout on my own, not mic'd up, I'd be going much heavier, probably be doubling the weight so that I'd be putting in a ton of work and getting the most out of this 12 minutes. You should not be able to talk through this workout. So at any point in time, you're able to talk and breathe, you're not going hard enough bump up that weight, bump up that intensity, and put in some work. So if you guys like this workout, make sure to leave a like. If you did the workout, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more workouts like this. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for showing up to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next workout.